What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here and Apple has just released iOS 8.4 to the public. So in this video, I have a ton of information to share with you guys. First off, I wanted to talk about iOS 8.4 final version. What's changed since now the betas and the final version? I mean, what does iOS 8.4 mean for your device? Is it gonna speed it up? Is it gonna slow it down? Is performance better? Uh, how's battery life? And I wanted to talk about what it means for jailbreaking as well. Just give you a general overview of iOS 8.4, whether or not you should update and everything that's changed. So first off, before I get into any of the features, I wanted to mention that I actually got a considerate gigabyte boost. Uh, so actually, I had 76.7 before updating. After updating, I now have 77.2. So almost a full gig added to my storage. And this is on a 128 gigabyte iPhone 6 Plus. So I don't know why, but every single time I'm updating now, uh, the amount of storage the OS takes is getting reduced or amount of free space I have on my device is getting boosted so that's great i mean we first saw that in 8.2 then 8.3 and now in ios 8.4 we see a further expansion in the amount of storage we have back on our devices and that's definitely a welcome change now i gotta tell you it's zippy i mean it feels faster than ios 8.3 not that that was sluggish but animations just seem better now like uh, more pronounced uh, they're not so stuttery and check out this the new music application has a new icon and this is for apple music now you can go ahead and sign up and try out Apple Music. So start your three month trial, your device uh, music application will close, reload, and uh, if that doesn't work, try it again. And just so you guys know, if you do actually sign up for the three month trial and you don't unsubscribe after three months, it will start charging you. So that's something to consider. So this is the new music application. It's actually received quite a bit of updates between now and the previous beta. So it does have a new look. Uh, there's some new options in here as well. So no longer do you just have three categories. It's back to five. You can swipe through them like this uh, on the music page for your personal ones between library and playlists. Now over here, go to For You, and this is Apple Radio, or the Beats One radio station. So you can go ahead and select some of the music you're into. Uh, let me see what's over here. So how do you like alternative, hip hop, um, electronic, cool, cool. So pretty much just select what you're into and go ahead and select next. You pretty much have access to almost every single song ever made all in one place for $10 a month, which I got to say is pretty cool. So uh, yeah, there's actually a pretty good uh, selection of stuff in here. <laughs> Anyways, I like the interface. It's really interesting. But let me go ahead and select some that I like and select done. So here you go. So you can go ahead and uh, explore the world of music using Beats One radio station. And then there's a new category for, I'm sure, a whole bunch of new songs. If you don't wanna pay for Beats One, you can play your old radio stations, but it is here, so you can go ahead and listen to it. This is a global radio station syncing uh, the same thing all around the world, which is really cool. And here's where you can connect to your artists. So I don't know why, but you know, that's a pretty cool feature, I guess. Anyways, iOS 8.4 pretty much focuses on the music application. There are a number of other fixes as well, uh, primarily with iBooks. There's a lot of enhancements. Uh, audiobooks have been relocated to iBooks, and the effective power bug has been squashed. So no longer will your device reboot randomly when your friends decide to prank you. So that's a good change right there. Overall, though, 8.4 certainly, for me, has better battery life. I have tested it with the betas. As for the official version, I have yet to see how much that has improved, but the battery life certainly was a little bit better in 8.4 for me. Now, should you guys update? First off, if you are not jailbroken and you have no intention of jailbreaking, absolutely. iOS 8.4 is a great step in an iOS 9 direction. The music application for me is a great reason to update. I love the music application, especially the new Beats 1 uh, radio streaming service. It's a great addition. Apple is going in a good direction with that. The new music interface, the mini player for uh, your music is actually really cool as well. So uh, this is what I'm talking about right here. So when you slide a song down, you now have a mini player right here, which will stay on the page until you need it you can pause and play music from this little button right there really cool really functional it's definitely a great software update and it makes no detrimental uh, speed difference so it actually improves it a little bit for me it's a little bit zippier the animations are a little bit better and the battery life is just a tad bit better now as for the jailbreak guys that's a tough one because iOS 8.4 cannot be jailbroken just yet but the good news is iOS HXR a jailbreak developer actually did confirm that 8.4 
Beta 4 has been jailbroken or was jailbreakable. Ionic also implied that it was jailbreakable. So what this means is basically iOS 8.4 Beta 4, the last beta was jailbreakable using the Taiji exploit for iOS 8.3. Now, whether or not the final version retains that exploit, we don't know just yet. But as soon as that information becomes available, I will be sharing it with you guys in an update video. So stay tuned for that. But for now, do not update if you are jailbroken. There's a very good chance that the jailbreak will remain on 8.4 and you'll be able to update and have all of the greatest features. But until we know that, do not update. If you are going to update, do it from iTunes. Don't do it from your device over the air settings unless you have no intention of jailbreak. Then uh, go ahead and do that. But anyways, guys, go ahead and download 8.4 beta 4 if you don't care about a jailbreak. It is a great firmware. I absolutely would recommend it and I'm going to be enjoying it on my personal device. So I hope you guys learned a thing or two in this video about iOS 8.4. Of course, I have many other videos going into detail on all the new features, so do check those out. Otherwise, enjoy iOS 8.3 jailbroken or if you decide, 8.4 non-jailbroken for now. Have a great day, guys. Peace.